Okay, currently I've got the car running with the fuel pump on. I'm going to disconnect that. I have my vapor set up disconnected and it is running normally. I'll disconnect the fuse. All right, so we're agreed that the engine dies upon removal shortly thereafter of fuel pump switch. So we'll put this back in. Okay, now to speed up the process here, I'm going to hook this in my vapor system. Not my vapor system, but you get the point. And we'll tighten it up. So that's good, snug. And the fuse is in. So I'm going to start the car. I will remove the fuse. Okay, I'm removing the fuse. The system is hooked up. I don't know if you can hear it bubbling, but it is operational. Okay, so we'll give this a little bit here just so that you're aware that the fuel pump has been disconnected, okay, and that we are breathing vapor here. All right. Um, I've had no loss of power when the system is functioning. Um, there is some excess fuel buildup in the lines from driving down the highway, and it will stall from time to time. It's not perfect, right? But my plan is to remove the battery, move it to the back of the vehicle, and then put in a, I don't know, two, two and a half gallon system here, right? So anyway, it's operating, it's running, okay, so we'll go, uh-oh, we'll go inside, okay, we'll give it a little gas, and you see it's not 100%, but once you get it going and everything is flowing, I mean, it feels like it accelerates um, more aggressively, um, right? And I mean, you're running on vapor, so your gas is going to last a lot longer. But that's the overview of everything that has happened with the car. Uh, no tricks or funny business. You've been with me 100% of the way on this process here, so, um, yeah. Anyway, thank you.